Uh, yeah, all good. Yeah. Noah, first start. Uh, take us, take us through that. I guess of hearing your name called at the number nine. Yeah, um, pretty cool, eh? Like, um, pretty amazing. I guess if I think back last year or the year before, I didn't think I'd be in the spot, but um, here I am. Just got to embrace it and a good opportunity for me. Obviously, you've had those couple, last couple of appearances off the bench. What, how much did you learn from that, especially that game against the Fiji and draw? Yeah, heaps. Um, learned heaps from that game, I guess. It shows um, you're going to make mistakes. Um, it's just how you come back from those mistakes. So hopefully get a good run around this week and get to show, show some people um, how I like to play. Yeah, how, how did you take that, that moment, obviously, the, the last minute you take that, that catch, it's potentially a different result there. How, did, you, did the guys have to get around you or did you, did you have to pick your own chin up? Uh, yeah, I guess it's up to the individual. You have to pick my own chin up, own that. Um, I wanted to take that ball. Unfortunately, you know, it's a game of rugby. You don't, you don't always do everything perfect. So, um, yeah, I guess come back the next week, train that moment again. Um, the pressure and everything, you just got to embrace it and yeah, it's a privilege. Was that ball over there, was it, and it might, I guess it might be a wee bit crazy in Brisbane too, was it really slippery over there? Yeah, it, it was definitely slippery but uh, definitely a takeable ball. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how's the week prep been thus far? What, what, what challenges do the Reds present that may be unique, more, more unique to other teams? Um, playing at some court, I guess, I've never played there but um, I guess the spectacles that have been played there. The home of the Reds, the, the Origin matches, uh, it's quite a big arena, big event, and just the Reds at home, I guess. Um, yeah, amazing. Well, you done in 2011, oh, <laughs> when, that, when that final was on, the last time the Reds 2011, won. ah, um, probably running around in primary school or something. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have been watching too much rugby. <laughs> And in terms of the other halfbacks in the squad, how much has uh, Willie Hines been helpful for you coming in as that real leader? Obviously Drummond as well, but Willie Hines in particular with that England background. Yeah, I guess it shows me a different side to um, skill sets that um, is very good for me to pick up. I guess you want to take different pieces of different people's pies, and then he's got lots of experience um, in his belt, and yeah, just trying to build my uh, toolkit up um, and use the tools that he's got. So yeah. When you, when you were growing up and coming up as a halfback, who were some of the New Zealand guys that you really, you know, was it an Aaron Smith or someone that you really looked at? Yeah, um, it's funny, lots of people ask me this question and the first person that comes to mind is actually Augustine Pulu. I don't know why, I kind of just liked um, just how aggressive he was, um, the way he ran, but yeah, I guess like I said before, I like to, it's not one person. I like, I like um, Anthony DuPont, I like Fafta Clerk, but taking little bits of them to um, make my own game, I guess, is what, I, what I'm trying to do. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Wes. Cheers,